Following total atomic annihilation, the rebuilding of this great nation of ours may fall to you. That's why we at vault -Tec have prepared these educational materials for you to better understand the seven defining attributes that make you special. Our next area of attention is intelligence. With all the talk of physical survival in the wasteland, you may forget that sometimes it's survival of the smartest. An empty mind is a vessel. I've been looking for you. No, no, I, I, I've got money. It's yours if you let me go. I'm putting you down. No, 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 no! Further violence against 
sins will not be permitted. You know, in all my years, I've never set foot outside the Institute. Not once. Since the day they brought me here. I've never had a reason. But now, this just confirms the truth I've always known. The Commonwealth is dead. There's no future here.
The only hope for humanity lies below. Some air fresheners, a new coat of paint, and it'll all be good as new. If only it were that simple. Standing here, I'm reminded of how fortunate I am that I was spared a life in this wasteland. I know that to you, I was kidnapped from that vault. In truth, the Institute rescued me. Both of us, really. They left me on ice. For 60 years. They did. And for good reason. I was the perfect candidate. An infant with uncorrupted DNA. But if something were to go wrong, if I died, well, the Institute realized a contingency plan was prudent. Another source of pre-war DNA, preferably related to their primary subject. It only made sense that my parents should fill that role. So you were kept alive and safe within the vault. I'll admit, when I had you released from Vault 111, I had no expectations that you'd survive out here in all this. To not only do so, but manage to find me. To infiltrate the Institute itself. Extraordinary. So it was you. You let me out? Yes. It was my decision. Certainly, it was no longer necessary to keep you suspended. I... Well, I suppose I wanted to see what would happen. An experiment of sorts. Would the Commonwealth corrupt you? As it has everything else. Would you even survive? Perhaps most curious to me. Would you... After all this time... Attempt to find me? And now I know the answer. This is science to you. It's pathetic. All of it. I'm sorry you see it that way. Perhaps in time you'll see it differently. Soon, I hope. I hope you'll understand. Everything I've done has been for the future. A future which I hope is not in jeopardy after recent events. Bunker Hill did not go well for us. Would you care to explain what happened? We got our asses kicked. Does it matter how? The chances of failing this mission were so astronomically low that yes, it does matter. Bunker Hill was to cement your place as a valuable asset to the Institute. It will now only raise suspicions. And to see the Brotherhood of Steel involved in this? They had no way of knowing what was going on. I will refrain from sharing the outcome with the Directorate for the moment. Things are already in motion that this would only derail. Speaking of which, it's time for you to become more involved in the future of the Institute. I'd like you to join me inside. The Directorate is meeting, and you should be there. I'll be waiting. I've seen enough. It's time to go back in. Hey. Hmm? <clears throat> Can I help? How do you feel about our relationship? You know where you're headed, and you've got me back. That's the kind of person I like to be with. That was it? No problem.
I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Let's go meet the boss. Sounds good. Jack, the new gal is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to... <coughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome, but I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Little green men and UFOs? Come on. You misunderstand me. I'm not talking about the flying saucers of popular hysteria. What I refer to is the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. You can believe whatever wacko theories you want, as long as I get paid. Well, if that's how you feel, I'll leave you to Edward. He'll be your immediate supervisor. There won't be any need for us to have any further direct interaction. What a whack job. Jack pays the bills, so he can believe what he wants. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Yep. I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck.
This place is off limits. You'd best move along. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking for a missing package. Oh. You're the new girl. So this package... Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery. Just north of here. So you've just been waiting for me to show up to do something about those assholes. A bunch of lazy blokes. That's what you are. As far as I remember, I don't answer to you. And yeah, we were waiting for you. That's your job, to deal with unexpected problems that come up. My job is to make sure nobody gets into this place. Lucky for you, I'm not afraid of a few raiders. Or anything for that matter. Well then, why don't you get out of my face and go kill them? Hey. What you need? Do you have a minute? I think we should talk. I always have time to listen to you, Kate. Good. Because this isn't easy for me to say, and I want to get it right. Where do I begin? Did you know I spent three years fighting at the combat zone? Three years of getting beaten to hell by a bunch of losers and lunatics. After the matches were over, I'd spit out the blood, stitch me wounds, and do a couple of shots of Psycho to keep me going. I fucking hated it. I hated the crowds, I hated the other fighters, and I hated myself. I never understood why I put myself through all that. Until now. It was because I was alone. And I think deep down, I wanted to die. I wanted one of my opponents to crush the life out of me. The easy way out. Well, that's the past. You're not alone anymore. Then maybe you know what I'm trying to say to you. My life's been nothing but one huge failure after another. You've heard all my stories, and you know the prices I've paid. There were a few times, when things got really bad, that I... I found myself staring down the barrel of my own shotgun. I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger. I guess I was praying that I could find a single decent scrap of humanity in this fucked up world. And then... What you did for me back there at Fault 95. It was like the answer to those prayers. That's the first time in me life I fully depended on someone else, and they didn't let me down. God damn it, I'm making a mess of this. It's alright, Kate. Let it all out. I'll be fine. I just need to be getting to the point. The longer we've been spending time together, the more I'm beginning to realize what you mean to me. And I'm not just talking about you watching me back, or sharing a drink together. I mean more than that. Before we met, I'd never let me guard down around anyone. I didn't dare. But with you, I feel like I can let you in and see me for everything that I am. For better or for worse. Look, I can't go back to the way things were before we met. I won't. But what I need you to do is look me in the eyes, and tell me you feel something too. Of course I do. I'm in love with you, Kate. You... you're what? You said... you're in love with me. I... I didn't know. I mean, I felt something between us, but I thought it was something else. Why? Why would you fall in love with someone as screwed up as I am? Because... you're special to me, Kate, and... I don't think I'd be happier with anyone else. You... you really mean that? This has to be the first time I put all my cards on the table and didn't end up losing everything. You don't know how much this means to me. To have someone special in my life. I promise you, I mean to make the most of it. Hey. This better be worth it. Hi. If something's on your mind, I'd love to hear about it. Just wanted to check in. See how you feel things are going between us. I'm closer to you than anyone else in my life. What more could anyone ask? How do you think things are between us? I'm alive. And I'm in love. That tell you enough? How do you think things are between us? You don't have to ask me that. You just need to listen to your heart. What are your thoughts on our relationship? We're together. That's all I care about. 
Everything else doesn't matter. How do you feel about us? I'm having some pretty naughty thoughts about you right now. So I'd say we're doing pretty damn good. How do you feel about us? You don't have to ask me that. You just need to listen to your heart. Just wanted to check in. See how you feel things are going between us. We're together. That's all I care about. Everything else doesn't matter. Nothing else I needed. Sure. is missing and I want her found. She's not so missing. did you find out what happened to the courier? No, but that doesn't Your sister mean... is missing and I want her found. Hardly what worth my time. Just a few raiders who ambushed him. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack. How dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? I didn't find any. I guess they must have used it all. Yeah, figures. Oh well, here's your pay for the job. Too bad about the serum. Now, as far as what's next... Oh hell, I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. If your father would get heat, there might be some valuable stuff inside. Let's go check it out. I can't believe you don't care what happens to your sister. Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. Why can't you be as devoted as dear? Oh. You 
shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just do I don't know my what job. they're working on Speaking in here. Speaking of which, it can't be good. We tracked down the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got it all, I'm sorry to say. Oh, that is bad news. Our supply here is dangerously low. Well, we'll just have to make it last until the next delivery. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. No problem. I'll bring her back. The trouble usually isn't finding her. It's persuading her to come home. I don't know where she's gone, but I can give you a place to start. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. I'm off to find the loony sister then. What the hell is a building that noise doing in a rundown city like this? What's up? What is it? Hey. If you want to talk, I'm here for you. Your thoughts? I have to admit, if this Liberty Prime can do even half of what the Brotherhood promises, it'll be a sight to behold. Your thoughts? If you're feeling tired, we could always find a bed. Your thoughts? We'd move faster if you kept your eyes on the road and off me arse. Your thoughts? Be careful, treasure. I couldn't stand losing you. Your thoughts? If it's fun you're looking for, you found the woman of your dreams. Your thoughts? Enough of this slog. Just point us to the nearest watering hole. Your thoughts? Letting my guard down around you isn't easy for me. Give me some time. Your thoughts? All this walking's wearing me out. Your thoughts? What's mine is yours, lover. Your thoughts? My heart, my treasure, my love. All for you. Nothing else I needed. Fine by me.
to enjoy this. I know I'm not the only person here who's lost someone. I just... I miss it so much. Just gotta be done with time. Yeah? Rise and shine, love. All this rest is making me tired. Ow. I think I might have pulled a muscle or something. I suppose that's something worth building. Whatever it is. Hey, was that you I saw at the barricades last night? You were the one taking pot shots at that super mutant. That was some great aim. Nah, I just remembered what my mother taught me. Shoot for the chest, ignore the rest.
Hancock says newcomers are. Welcome. In the third rail. Go on in. Oi, we got beer. He's in the back room. You ain't buying beer. You ain't buying. And pull up a chair. Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia. This gal wants a word. Excuse me, miss. Hmm? Well, what's the matter, sweetheart? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. I loved the song. It was perfect. I think the song wasn't the only thing you were enjoying. Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, of course. It's those... Powerful muscles of yours. My, I could get used to looking at those. So what brings a woman like you to my part of town? What do you think? We're all trying to forget something, are we? I think you and I are gonna get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. You, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? Music. Hmm, I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. Let's get out of here. Let me get my coat. What'll it be? You're looking for me? What can I do for you? I haven't been out on the town in too long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first love is always going to be the stage, though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. I'll see you around, good neighbor. Magnolia. I'll see you around, good neighbor. I have to head back. Heads up. Sure, sure. Well, hey there, beautiful. Just wanted to check in. See how you feel things are going between us. You don't have to ask me that. You just need to listen to your heart. Just wanted to check in. See how you feel things are going between us. What? We're having some pretty no. naughty thoughts about you right now. It, it, so it, I'd it, say we're doing pretty it's bad. It's you! Good. From Sanctuary Hills, right? That was all. Fine by me. Excuse me. You're from Sanctuary Hills, aren't you? Aren't you? Yeah, I'm from Sanctuary. What? You don't remember me? I sold you that space in the vault. <laughs> but then I wasn't on the list to get in. But you, look at you. Two hundred years and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thought out recently. What? vault never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. Hey, what happened to you isn't my fault. Don't even think about coming after me. You know, 
You're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No Commonwealth settlement once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Hey, you know you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay, I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. If this ghoul ends up living anywhere near me, I'm moving out. Look alive. Needs what do you need, darling? How do you feel about us? We're together. That's all I care about. Everything else doesn't matter. Nothing else I needed. No problem. I just clean up around. Red, are you going to hang out in the lobby? Hey, Magnolia. Else. You again. It's my lucky day. What do you need? Any chance I could steal you away for an evening? I don't think that would be a good idea. There's something else I can help you with? Any chance I could steal you away? I don't think that... Do you know Emma Jean Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? I just need to talk to her. Hmm. Why are you looking for her, honey? Her family hired me to find out what happened to her. Well... I suppose it won't hurt to tell you. Please, tell me what you know. There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jean, she latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam, would you come over here a minute? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this lady here was just looking for Emma Jean. Do you happen to know where that uh, preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Emma Jean was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them, just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Mm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Emma Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Better keep your iron strapped to God.
Oh, are alive. you kidding me? It's if I find you, you're gonna regret it. going to tell me about this mysterious face. Tomorrow. It must make you proud to see all that Father has done. Welcome, neighbor. Do you think tonight's show We're is always sold glad out? To see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? I'm just looking for Emogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Emogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. I just need to make sure she's okay. You've got my word. She's fine. She's just staying in her room right now. Not that it's any of your business, but she and I are just having a little relationship trouble. You know how it is. 
she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. I'm going to see her, one way or another. Your choice. We could always start by ripping your damn arms off. Wow. You went right to throwing your weight around. I thought we were friends. If you want to see her so bad, don't let me stand in your way. Here, I'll unlock the door for you. Side. Let's go check it out. Imogene runs off like this mainly to provoke Mother and by extension irritate me. Why does Imogene do this to me?
Huh? Carla. Back again? Time to do business? I've got a few minutes to browse. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. Have a good sleep. I know I did. Unless the next bloke we run into is armed with a can opener, I'd say we're good to go. Sure, let me just stop what I'm doing to talk to you. I'm being sarcastic. Leave me alone. I'd like to trade some items. Thing I hate more than raider scumbags. If you run into any, put a few down for me. Uh, uh. 